Here is the interval AB. The endpoints are indicated by A, X1, Y1 and B, X2, Y2. The midpoint is the point P, X, Y. To derive a formula for the midpoint, we first need to construct some similar triangles. A perpendicular line is produced from B towards the x-axis, and another line is produced horizontally from A. Now, the point of intersection is R, and a line is produced from P to meet the lines AR at Q. We now have two similar triangles. The smaller similar triangle is the triangle APQ. And the larger triangle is the triangle ABR. Similar triangles have corresponding angles equal. We will verify this. The angle PAQ is common to or shared with both triangles. Angle APQ and angle ABR are equal corresponding angles. Similarly, angle AQP is equal to angle ARB. And so we have shown the triangles to be similar. P is the midpoint of AB. So AB is twice as long as AP, and the ratio of the distance AP compared to AB is a half. One of the properties of similar triangles is that corresponding sides will also be in that same ratio. So AQ over AR equals a half, and PQ over BR is a half. Let us focus on AQ and AR along the base of the triangle. The distance AQ is x minus x1 and the distance AR is x2 minus x1. So now instead of writing AQ over AR equals a half, we can write x minus x1 over x2 minus x1 equals a half. So now we've established a, an, a, an equation and we want to eliminate or we'll get to the left hand side x by itself. So we'll firstly cross multiply. Multiply the denominator on the right hand side 2 with the numerator on the left hand side and we get 2 outside of x minus x1 equals and the denominator on the left hand side with the numerator on the right hand side so that's x2 minus x1 times 1. Let's expand 2x minus 2x1 equals x2 minus x1. We're going to now move minus 2x1 to the right hand side of the equation leaving on the left hand side 2x and on the right hand side x2 minus x1 plus 2x1. We'll tidy that up by collecting like terms. 2x then is x1 plus x2 and finally divide both sides by 2 x equals x1 plus x2 over 2. We now have the formula to find the x value of the midpoint. By following the same process with the y-axis, we can find the formula for the y-value. The complete formula to find the coordinates of the midpoint is x1 plus x2 over 2 for the x-value and y1 plus y2 over 2 for the y-value. Let's now have a look at an example of this. Questions asking, find the midpoints of minus 1, 4 and 5, 2. Now x1 is minus 1 and x2 is 5 y1 is 4 and y2 is 2. Now using the formula, x equals x1 plus x2 over 2 gives us minus 1 plus 5 over 2, which is 4 over 2, which equals 2. For the y values, y1 is 4, y2 is 2, so y equals 4 plus 2 over 2, which is 6 on 2, equals 3. So therefore the midpoint has the coordinates 2, 3.